I can actually see it already. I wonder how influential these things are. If I remember right, Mage was kind of insignificant, but now it's... Hmm. Well, I'll have to switch it up after today, probably. Alright, well, time to play more of Hot Form's wonderful Tempo Mage deck. think against Warrior, I need to have Arcane Blast. Well, against some types of Warrior, I do. Hello. Hello. I wasn't even sure about that use of uh, Arcane Blast. It did 4 damage, but it was against a very uh, insignificant minion. But I didn't want that to have something deal 1 damage to us and the Armor Smith finish me off. Probably doesn't have Fire or Axe. It's good for me. Kind of. Best answer without Fire or Axe is Corcoran. Boo. Try this Valor game against the Tempo Warrior. Pretty decent mirror image, though. Huh, another. That could do well. That'll actually do quite well. It won't do as well as I thought it would. Unless I want to fireball this guy. Uh, I guess I push uh, 3 damage if I do that. Plus I save an image. Plus I can keep going with quite a few of these cards. It's I was intending to do Frostbolt, uh, Knacklight of Pain, but the mana worked out really poorly. In other words, it was kind of awkward. I'm gonna go with the Acolyte of Pain here for the more value-oriented play. I suppose. This next turn I can go Azure Drake and Fire Blast again. I'm not entirely sure how good enough idea that is. Tentacles for arms. Hmm. What to do? What to do? A card draw on my side. It's nice in the end game. It's still kind of tough though. Armor made to fit. This is probably going to be a value game. Wow, it's a game he seems to be winning. Fearlessness of Flame Strike will pay off for him.
This can do uh, eight damage, which is more damage than I needed to do. Hmm, handy. This is a thing that could happen. We could run out of uh, cards. What he wants right now really badly is Battle Rage. If he draws Battle Rage, I probably lose. But if he doesn't have Battle Rage... Well, he does have Tentacle for Arms, though. That's good value right there. That infinite value is adding up. Oh, he drew Battle Rage! And Tentacles. Hmm. Got me with those tentacles, man. It's vicious. Let's make magic. What was I supposed to do against tentacles for arms? There was nothing I could do. There might have been something I could have done somewhere in this game. There actually could have been. Anyways, praise you, Ock. Done yet. Sorry, Rag. Your time is over. Sentenced Yog. Oh, well, oh. sounds again. <laughs> that Yog, though. Where's my charge? win with the water elementals and somehow he has to have no damage. It's gonna be pretty tough. I actually don't want to draw the uh, Roaring Torch yet. I want to draw a serious card. The interesting thing is, it looks like Gromish kills me, but that wouldn't. You can kill me with Corcron, though. Oh. Ho 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 ho. Praise Yogg! Hmm. 
Wait, maybe I did want to get Roaring Torch. What if I did draw Roaring Torch? I would do right now six. So I would have done, he would have been 20. I would do six plus six is 12. 16, 17, 18. Wait, did I win anyways? 2, 5, 6, 9, 10, now. Hmm. Wait, what if I had drawn Roaring Torch instead of Arcane Missiles? What to do and I cast the Forgotten Torch to last turn. Is it plus 3? Is it 20? I do 12 with my hand. Plus four, sixteen. So okay, it would still be too short. Anyways, oh wait, it, it's it's still not over. Oh no, it's over. I was just uh, kind of curious as to whether or not I misplayed by not playing Forgotten Torch. It's interesting, I'm reading uh, Hot Form's guide on this deck, and he seems to think that it's a favored matchup against Zoo. I disagree. He is Legend 1, though. Or he hit Legend 1, but maybe it's just variants. I've played a lot of Warlock against. The axe. Maybe I'll just coin out water elemental. Hmm. And then hope that sticks. That might negate the axe. Feels unlikely. Let the pain speak to me. It's possible. And then if he plays the blood hoof, I can fireball it. This is a little bit dreamerish. He handles this with execute, but more slam kind of. Oh, that's the worst. I think I just lost. I gotta take this axe. This might actually be better. Use the Acolyte to kind of draw to you if we're playing the Azure Drake, since Azure Drake can get taken out rather easily.
The good news is if I had played the Drake, he would have played Ghoul and then we just used that axe. That axe. the missiles. Hmm. It's not worth it for the last one, even though he has an answer on the board. I just have to praise Yogg at the end. Hmm. Feeling despair starting out today, but. Two games, small sample size, it's all good. Yogg, you're my only hope. No, somehow I got a head on board. That probably won't last. Behold the armies of Stormwind. Young? Alternative, Mana Worm Roaring Torch. Hmm. No, praise Yogg. Attack first. Nah, praise Yogg. Okay, pretty good. Y'all died for our sins. 
The question is, do I need to use a burn spell on this frothing? Hmm. I'd rather not have to. If I kill that, it'll be enough for my mana worm to die. Speak to me. Draw first, I suppose. Oh right, that was ganged up. I was like, how did that happen? There's a difference in the one I have to kill, I suppose. Huh. Yogi actually turned things around. Praise Yogg. Oh my. He didn't have an answer to the mana room. I probably should be doing damage to the face. Well, maybe he should be playing both of these, in fact. So that's nine damage. But with these, it's, uh,. 13 damage, 20 damage, 25 damage, 26 damage. Oh, wow. 2, 4, 7, nine. Oh, That's pretty close. It's close enough that if it's not lethal somehow, it's still a good move. Wow. Crazy Og. What? What? <laughs> Goodbye, despair. Four warriors on the road today so far. Maybe it's time. To, nah, it's just variants. I was like, maybe it's time to bring back Paladin. Nah, it's variants. Probably variants.
his water elementals are at least really good against four warriors in a row. Hmm. Probably using the Frostbolt. Two, three, four, coin, Fire Blast. Maybe doesn't play Brawl. That would be the dream. You know, way back in the day, Water Elemental didn't used to freeze warriors when they had armor on. Random interaction lore. Because the warriors weren't damaged as the armor, like, shrugging it off. Random lore. Back in the dirt. I think him being frozen this turn isn't that big a deal, so I'll use this. Hmm, fuel. Wow, look at this triple spell synergy on the board. Sickening. The trio with the synergy of hiding behind mirror images. The unholy trinity. Oh man, it's bad. It's real bad. Yes, no idea how bad it is. I guess he does have an idea. Yes, I'll find out whether or not it's actually, uh, whether or not Zoo can be beat, if it is Zoo. Alright, Mana Worm, Arcane Missiles, let's try that. That's pretty good. Sometimes. Just have to out tempo him here. That was a really weak turn, too. Sorcerer's Apprentice, Arcane Blast, Arcane Missiles might be the answer. Or I could just do Arcane Missiles 
and take the one damage here. That's all right. Or sometimes get really lucky. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Next turn I can cast my whole hand. No, well, this is this is how you win against I guess, but that was a zoo who played a void walker on turn two and nothing on turn one. Kinda sucked. I think I have to make sure to clear this stuff. But I guess that 5 damage should go face. Maybe I should have Arcane Blast the 1-1. One, one. Nah, I have a Mirror Image up. I would have if I didn't have the Mirror Images up there. Figure and his hand was full of uh, minion buffing things. Ah, oh, the unholy trinity. It meets again. Casual 7-3. Pretty good. Amazing. This is so much despair. Who dares summon me? That was a really bad zoo hand though. This is nothing to do with this match. Opinion me. Stop it, he's already dead. Alright, thanks for sub in Court Siege. Are there any modifications you could see being made to Hot Forms Mage, or have you not done enough science to be able to know what would fit? I think if you read um, Hot Forms post on Reddit, you kind of get some idea. So he has a section called Card Discussion. Um, I guess that's not really... I wonder if he types the word Flame Strike anywhere in here. Nope. Alright. I'll just read an answer to you, I suppose. Or will I? You can consider Flame Strike, Antonitis, Cabal's Tome, Spell, Slinger, Ethereal Conjure. And it will probably be good or bad depending on certain things. Uh, thanks for subbing Yagiza. Hmm. Fifth warrior in six games. But it's variance. Probably. Hmm. Apparently, uh, Hot Form recommends keeping Water Elemental in your opening hand. That's interesting. Cool theory. I was just looking it up precisely to see what he thought. 
It's probably on the fringe card of what you keep. This seems like it's a critical turn. I think I'm going to play Missiles and Acolyte of Pain. Okay. With the intent to kill this as a priority, but if it had missed, I would settle for killing that. that to be enraged going to my turn. Uh, he has a decent chance of pulling that off anyways, but not attacking will increase the odds that it does not happen. It's a shame that I will only get one draw off of my uh, Acolyte, but oh well. No? Hmm. Ah. Interesting. So I'll get three draws off of my Acolyte, but he kills the Water Elemental. And he gains a lot of armor. Uh, so that's enough armor that I'm just going to be playing a value game now. That was an interesting path to go. Good news is, I sure have a lot of cards. He only has two left, and he's clearly a tempo warrior. I'd like to play the water elemental, that's the only way I can get it while also killing that. <laughs> so much armor that you can t draw off of Battle Rage. A tragedy.
This one, actually. Hitting my face was pretty good of a result. That's dealing for it, it's pretty good. I could have considered forgotten torching his face, but now nah, I'll save it for removal. I can try to lose just one of the, uh, this is a little bit greedy. Not that greedy, I think. The worst I do is I take 10 damage. Oh no, I'm losing! Or am I? Ho 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 ho! Yeah! 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 No. Okay. Kind of okay. Eh? Eh. Yeah, uh, yes! Kind of. Eh, uh, that's fine. No. Oh, waste. No! <laughs> oh, almost, Yogg. Almost. Are you kidding me? Ah. Don't question Yogg. He always has a plan. Although here, I have to admit, I'm not entirely sure what Yogg's plan is. Well played. I don't understand Yogg. Why have you done this? Apparently the stream froze a bit. Dog was doing well, and then he dark bargained my hand and then he mulched my yug. And he got Aviana.
You know, with this many warriors, I probably should choose an anti-warrior deck of some sort. It's mostly Tempo Warrior. What do I have that's good against Tempo Warrior? This might be a good time to do the Trump teachings of Control Warrior. Let's make magic. Serves the dual purpose of matching up against the Tempo Warrior, which is a good matchup. And it's the last class I haven't done one of. Pretty weak play. Gotta save the mana worm though. I have an axe to grab. I could kill that, but better to play the slow play which takes five mana. Yeah, I mean killing it would no, it would only take three mana. Let the pain speak to me. Hmm. What to do? What to do? That's mostly being played as a 3 2. Six, two, four, five, seven. Yeah, all right. Hmm, I definitely need to draw more cards. The mana is awkward. Hopefully, I draw something good. I'll probably be playing Flame Waker. Hmm, Frostbolt. Feels bad to play that without playing any spells. However, It kind of protects the Sorcerer's Apprentice, and he's getting a little bit low. Acolyte of Pain also protects a tiny bit. Onward to the face. Dog's like, don't worry. You do most of the work, and I'll help out at the end. Ooh. Oh. Whirlwind effect? That would be pretty good. No whirlwind effect.
Three six plus nine. It's pretty good. I need to get one more win with the mage, though, for the quest. I wonder what type of control warrior I should play, though. If I play a control warrior. Maybe with Yogg? Maybe I'll build my own. Nah, not with Yogg. Maybe with Cthulhu, is what I meant to say. Against Hunter, do I want to keep a water alley? Nope. Man, that tempo. Alright, go. Nice. It had a uh, slight chance of not working, but... Uh, it was 50-50 on two missiles, so on three missiles, it was probably something like 75, with quick napkin math to work. I wonder if I missiles his face for 5 damage. Let's make magic. Oh man. If I missiles his face for 5, he goes down to 14. I have 9 in my hand. It's pretty difficult to kill these without taking damage. Yeah, alright. The face. I would probably want to replay the sorcerer if it was a uh, freezing trap. I wonder. Sparkle. It's like, yes, this does seven, but this does three also. And it's less committing, I suppose. And I was gonna play that next. Pretty much always. of that and plus he has another one of them. And sets him up for a uh, two turn lethal. Or possibly next turn lethal if this survives. But the plan is to uh, fireball, fire blast mirror image into 
Forgotten Torch, Fire Blast. Wait, did I already have next turn lethal? Uh oh. If so, mistake. So they could have been. Oh, yeah. That was uh my bad then. Hopefully I don't get punished for that. I could get punished pretty easily. I thought I needed one more fire blast in addition. Can I lose with the Call of the Wild? So that would go in here, that would go in here. So I would have 6 plus... Huffer with 2 Leox is 6. So yeah, Call of the Wild wins. If he has uh, Unleash the Hounds, that's 2, 7, 10, 12. That also wins. So yeah, I threw away a lot of equity there. Mm. Terrible, terrible play by me. Thanks for catching it, Twitch chat. You're so smart. Sadness. Pretty nice curve. Not sure if that's good enough though. Some kind of really aggressive deck. Yep. Hmm. Against a really aggressive deck, how does this deck fare? I'm not sure. I did start off with a 1 drop, 2 drop, 3 drop though, so... I'm doing better than average already. Water Elemental. That card's really good. Uh, 
He agrees. Do I randomly throw an arcane missiles with this water elemental? The answer is no. Water elemental, my savior. Blood and blunder. Just let me get through this guy somehow. Man, those water elementals are so good though. Two, three, five. Or I could do two, zero. And then hope that hits two of them. That'd be a 50 50. It seems like either way I can play the uh, intellect though. Maybe get a better answer. Oh, like a torch. Perfect. Now you fire the missiles. Perfect. Oh, -ho. in case the first missiles isn't good enough. All right. Deck's really good against Pirate Warrior. It's got Mirror Image, it's got Water Elemental. And it's got cheap spells to deal with uh, cards that will die to the cheap spells for the most part. Kind of, sort of. Maybe. He's gotta make sure that when he's at 12 to watch out for the face. Possibly right strategy is to leave him at 13 for a turn. Nice and ask, uh, ping minion to draw one instead of intellect to draw two. And the answer is, you should be willing to use your hero power because it's limited to once per turn if you do not feel a pressing need to do things. Uh, thank you for subbing for Gassen and Temu Jint. I got my uh, fifth win with this deck. So far it's doing pretty well. With all the Tempo Warrior around, I should almost certainly be playing Control Warrior. Also, if people are hipster and want to play this deck, because Hot Forum showed it off, Control Warrior would work really well in addition. Now the question is, which version of Control Warrior should I play? There's so many versions. And to that, let's look to the EU Hearthstone Championship deck lists.
for inspiration. Let's see, that's a tempo warrior. That's a tempo warrior. That is a Nizoth warrior. That's a control warrior with none of the old gods. With Tink Master over Spark, George C. That's a Cthulhu warrior. That's a control warrior without any of the special stuff. That's a patron warrior. And that's a tempo warrior. I think, in honor of, since this is a Trump teachings, I should kind of do the cool new thing with the set, which is Cthulhu Warrior. Also, Cthulhu Warrior is arguably the best one. But it's cool that you can do Nazoth Warrior, you can do Cthulhu Warrior, you can do Dragon Warrior, you can do Tempo Warrior, you can do Pirate Warrior, and you can also do, there is one more, Cthulhu, Nazoth, Regular Control, Pirate, Tempo. I'm missing a big category here. Dragon? Dragon. Oh, Patron. I said Patron twice, didn't I? Hold on, one more. Cthulhu, Nazoth, Regular Control, Dragon, Patron, Pirate, Tempo. So that's seven. Seven warriors. It's pretty incredible. If only you could bring into Conquest a lineup of five different warrior lists. That probably wouldn't be very good. It would possibly be good. Hard to say. Now let me use that AKA Wonders deck for the Cthulhu warrior here. Uh, let's get rid of one of my many warrior decks. I actually have one, two, three, four, five warrior slots right now. Hmm. 